What is going on my friends, Hank here, and today we're going to learn how to make your very first scale model figure. Figures are a wonderful way to bring that extra bit of realism and storytelling to your model kit builds, but sometimes folks can be a little intimidated by the prospect of building and painting up a figure that's going to look just as good as their tank or aircraft build. So in this video, I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process of building up your first figure so you can start practicing today. With that said, let's hop right into it. All right, so before we begin building, it's important to make clear that in this video, we're gonna be looking at plastic figures. There are two main kinds of figures available in 135 scale, resin figures and plastic figures. Plastic figures build up just like a regular model kit. And in the last few years, model manufacturers have really stepped up their game and made some super detailed figure kits. Plastic figure kits are a lot less expensive than their resin counterparts, so they're a great choice for beginners. For this tutorial, we're going to be using this lovely new U.S. infantry kit from Tamiya. It comes with five figures in a great variety of poses, and it's a wonderful place to start for anybody that's interested in World War II scale models. Now, let's run through our essential tools. First up, we're going to need our handy spruce nippers, our hobby knife, preferably with a nice new blade, a nail file for sanding, a little bit of finer sandpaper for tackling those tough-to-reach spots, and of course, our Tamiya Extra Thin Cement with the Fine Applicator Brush. If you need to pick up any of these tools or refill your stash, I've got links down in the description below for all the products used in today's lesson. All right, let's crack open our box and get started. First up, we've got our instruction booklet, of course. And then we've got three small sprues in here with all of our parts. You can already see how beautifully detailed these figures are. Super impressive for a plastic kit. Now, if you're a proper beginner, here's a quick rundown of how to keep all these parts organized. Each sprue sheet has a little letter in the top corner that's going to identify it. So this here is sprue Z. And then each individual part is going to have either a number or a number and a letter. This kit has a number and a letter for each piece, as you can see here. So again here for another example, we've got sprue X with parts A1, A2, A3, and so on. And if we look at our instruction booklet, you'll see that each part is called out by sprue letter and by piece number to keep ourselves organized. Now I went ahead and built up one of these figures already to give you a quick glimpse at how nice these guys look all built up. A ton of detail here and they're going to be a blast to paint. For this demo here, we're going to paint up our squad leader figure with the M1 carbine. As you can see, all of his main body parts are on sprue Z, so we're going to start there. So here's sprue Z, and you can see that we've got parts A1 through A10 all ready for this particular figure. Now to get these parts off our sprue, we're going to take our sprue snippers and carefully line up the back flat edge of our cutting blades to the point where the actual part connects to the sprue. Each piece might have a few connection points, so just move along the piece and then it's eventually going to fall free. Once we've got our piece off, you can see that there are going to be a few little areas where some of the sprue is still attached to the piece. We're going to come back and clean those up in just a bit, but in the meantime, let's get the rest of the parts off of our sprue. Alright, so once our pieces are removed, we can do the cleanup that I mentioned before. I like to start by taking my hobby knife and very carefully cutting away the biggest bit of excess from each connection point. And while we've got our knife out, you probably will notice that there's a little bit of a seam line on each piece of our figure. These are a distracting detail and take away from the illusion of our finished product, but fortunately they're very easy to get rid of. The best way to do this is to take the edge of your knife, put it perpendicular to the piece in question, and scrape in the direction of the seam line. This is going to shave down just enough of that extra unwanted plastic and leave you with a nice smooth piece of quote unquote fabric. We can repeat this on all of our parts as we move along. Okay, so once all of our parts are nice and cleaned up, we can start assembly. We'll start off with the biggest part of our figure here, the two torso halves. First thing we're going to want to do is dry fit our two parts together to make sure that everything aligns nicely. If the fit looks good, we can take a little bit of our extra thin plastic cement and just brush that right along the outside of our seam line. Hold that for just a second, and then we can flip over to the other side and hit that as well. Just be careful not to touch any of the wet cement with your fingers or it'll leave fingerprints. Next, let's move down to our legs. We're going to use the same process here, starting with a dry fit to make sure everything lines up nicely. 
Next, we're gonna add some extra thin cement and connect the two pieces. You can put a little extra on afterwards as well to make sure that the fit is nice and secure. With our two halves of the body complete, let's connect our legs and torso. All right, you guys know the drill now. Dry fit, a little cement, and mount into place. Once you got the hang of it, go ahead and mount up the rest of the parts we cleaned up as called out in the instruction booklet. Now after the main body construction is done, it's going to be time to add all of his additional equipment. In this particular kit, these extra parts are all on the sprues CB and CA. This kit offers all sorts of extra goodies for our GI, including a very nicely sculpted M1 carbine, two different options for an M1 helmet, an entrenching tool, and a lot of other stuff. Just as we did with our main body construction, we're going to remove all these parts from the sprue, clean up any excess material with our knife and our sandpaper, and cement them into place as called out in the instruction booklet. At the end of the process, we can carefully slip his carbine into place in his left hand. And you know what? An extra frag grenade wouldn't hurt either. And just like that, our basic construction is complete. For a totally reasonable price, you can get five of these guys for the price of just one or two resin figures, which makes them a perfect place to practice as a beginner. Now you're probably wondering, how do I start painting? Well, stay tuned for our next lesson here, where we're going to learn how to paint up this iconic M1943 field uniform. Or, if you'd like, you can learn a little bit extra about the history of this classic piece of American kit right here.